Welcome back all the fans and followers of space fiction. Today we will look at what would happen if you decided to do some running in a rotating space station. The easiest way to make an artificial gravity is to spin a station or a spaceship. All objects on board will be influenced to a centrifugal force, the power of which will depend on the dimension of the station and its rotation speed. In several sci-fi movies in which artificial gravity is maintained on an orbital station or spaceship by rotation, you could see astronauts making some sports and running around the entire station. But what would really happen to you? You would have different feelings depending on whether you run in direction or against the direction of rotation. If you were running in the direction of rotation, there would be much greater force acting on you, so you might feel as if you were running uphill. If you run against the direction of rotation, you could start to float, because the force acting on you would be much weaker. Imagine that you are on a space station whose rotation provides an artificial gravity that is the same as the gravity on Earth. You are moving at speed of 3 meters per second, which is approximately the speed of a light healthy exercise running. If you were in a small rotating station with a diameter of 10 meters, when running in the direction of rotation you would have feel up to twice the earth gravity force. That would probably get you to your knees. If you were running in the opposite direction, you would be up to three times less heavier than on earth. Therefore, if you started to run properly against the direction of rotation, you would get into a weightless state and you would lose the floor very easy. The larger the station, the smaller the difference. By comparison, if you were on a large rotating space station that has a diameter of 1 km, running would not cause you such problems. To be precise, in this case, when running in or against the direction of rotation, you would feel a difference of only 10% more or less than the Earth gravity. That's because a large station would have to rotate much faster. To reach the Earth gravity, the speed would need to be up to 70 meters per second, which is approximately the speed of a commercial aircraft during the takeoff. That's why the speed of your run do not make such a difference. So the next time when you'll want to make a run around a rotating space station, think about to which direction you want to go. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click on a subscribe button if you want to see other amazing videos from the world of space fiction. And if you want to share with us your opinion, just leave a message in the section below.